Unfortunately, we have had one fatality, COVID-related fatality in South Africa, and we extend our condolences to, to that person's family. He was an employee of our food service business in the Western Cape. Um, to date, we, we've had somewhere between 20 and 30, I don't know the exact number, of confirmed positive cases in South Africa, of which most have recovered. Um, and we've had two cases in Chile um, about a month or two back, both which made a full recovery. So obviously the, the health and welfare of our, of our employees, of our customers, of our suppliers is, is of paramount importance through this crisis. And we think we, we're, we perform, our employees have performed very well in this regard. And, and fortunately, the, the, uh, the health statistics that we've experienced bear that out, other than the, the unfortunate incidences in, in South Africa and to a lesser degree in Chile. We operate in, in 35 different countries to various different degrees, and they all are experiencing different, um, they're all having a different experience with how they've, they've tackled the problem, where the problem is at the moment, where the crisis is, where the health crisis is, and where the economic recovery um, and opening up of the economy is. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk to each um, jurisdiction uh, and, and obviously focus more on the larger ones and the, and, and, and the, more, meaningful, the more meaningful statistics. Overall, we certainly in a, we feel we're in a far more comfortable place than we were a month ago or two months ago. Certainly the blind panic isn't necessarily there. We can see, we believe that the, the, the peak is, is well and truly passed in terms of the, of the economic impact on our business um, and that there is a recovery happening, um, more so in certain jurisdictions than others. Where, and I think the easiest way to do it is go, go region by region and, and try to use some color as to, as to where we see that. Um, so overall, our sales at the at the low point we were at about 38 percent compared to prior year on a week-to-week -week basis um, at the beginning of April, and we're currently sitting at about 67 percent um, compared to to prior year. Now that's in totality across the whole business. So we've recovered from 38 percent to 67 percent, which is a whole lot better. Um, however, it's not 100 percent, and there are implications. Yeah, when you when you aren't running at the levels that you were, and we'll talk about what we what we've done about it, and where we see the trajectory. Um, the pleasing thing that we are seeing is certainly when economies start reopening, the the upturn in our business is relatively quick, and it's probably quicker than we anticipated, um, and it's, it's it's larger than we anticipated. So we are very very buoyed by that and, and, and we think that's a, that's a good sign um, for the future. That doesn't mean that this thing's going to end in a month or two months or three months. Uh, I just think our view is that the recovery will be shorter, whatever shorter means, than maybe we anticipated that a month or so ago and we believe the extent of the recovery will be, will be greater um, than we thought. 